everybody, it's Lon Sybin. I am back again looking at another gadget. This time it is the Skills with a Z radar detector for your sporting activities. And this is designed to test the speed of a ball that you might throw, kick, or hit. Uh, and you don't need a partner with you to pull the trigger down while you do it. The uh, thing, once it's turned on, uh, will operate continuously, uh, measuring speed and keeping track of your fastest speed. So let's take a look and see how it works. So uh, it runs on four C batteries, which are installed in this door in the back here. Uh, and that's all it needs to get started. Uh, the power button here will switch it on. Sometimes the buttons can be a little hard to find, um, but once it gets going here, it greets you with a high and it's ready to go. Um, I should add that it's pretty visible outdoors and you'll see what I mean in a minute when I uh, switch to some outdoor footage I have. Um, but on the side here, you see you have a speed button here and this uh, determines what kind of measurement you're using, whether miles per hour or kilometers per hour. And I should also note that uh, you can set the minimum speed that it'll pick up. So when you get it and if you have small kids and you're not seeing a lot of measurement of the balls being thrown by it, uh, you might want to turn the speed down, uh, at least the minimum speed that it's reading down. And you can do that just by holding uh, that button down and uh, adjusting the setting for that. It's not too hard. I found that it goes down to maybe like 20 or 23 miles an hour or something like that. So uh, if you have a very small kid, it might not pick it up at all. But uh, most of us could probably throw a ball about 20 miles an hour or so. So it shouldn't be an issue there. Uh, if you look below here, there is a uh, button here to tell you what your fastest time was during the last session. And sessions are defined as to, as to when the unit is actually turned on. So uh, that's a good way to measure uh, whether or not you are speeding up or slowing down as you go. And this button down here will tell you the fastest speed that the device has ever recorded. And as you can see here, we're not doing too good in that department, only about 40 miles an hour, but I really wasn't trying so hard. Now, one of the things that you can do with this thing beyond just measuring the speed of, of tennis balls and other things you might throw at it uh, is the speed of vehicles. And I was really curious if this thing would work uh, measuring the speed of a car. And surprisingly, it worked quite well. Uh, here's some footage of me driving around in a parking lot earlier today, and I drove by it at uh, 34 miles an hour, and it picked me up going Going that speed. So, uh, at least as far as that low speed driving experiment was concerned, uh, it worked pretty well. I also set it up out on my road just to see if it would pick up cars going by that might be further away from the unit, and it worked there too. I can't really say if it was all that accurate, uh, but I did drive by it once on my way uh, down the street, and uh, it did pick up the speed that I was traveling at. So, um, I don't think it's designed for doing automobile testing. It sure wouldn't hold up in court, uh, but it probably uh, will give you some good idea of, of how fast some of the people are driving around in your neighborhood. And I'm sure some enterprising hacker could find out a way to get the data out of this thing and link it up to a camera or do something really uh, wacky with it. But um, it's, it's a neat device, mainly because you don't have to manually implement it to get it to work. And I have found that when you're outside just throwing a couple balls at it, it works pretty well too. So uh, this is the skills radar kit from Skills, and I'm pretty impressed with it. And uh, if you're looking for a way to measure how fast you're throwing things or how fast maybe your neighbors are driving, that's a pretty good product. So uh, check it out, and thanks again for watching.